So my minimalist philosophy, I am not a minimalist. Uh, I would like to be, but like, like oh, there's stuff everywhere. Like, I'm just not, it's just impossible with my lifestyle. But I do like the philosophies of minimalism and trying to keep things that you only need. The reason that I, I, I tried to break this package down a little bit is because I really got into the whole minimalist photography, you know, one lens on body, Q2, X100V, Ricoh GR3 type philosophy. And I really wanted to get one of those cameras. And I was like, well, why don't I apply that same philosophy to my FX6? If a camera is really easy to grab, or really easy to use or small or just already kind of put together, there's less friction. So you just kind of grab it. I'm more inclined to shoot when I enjoy the process and I enjoy what I'm using. When I build this out and put big monitors on it and stuff, I, I don't really enjoy using it. So that's the philosophy. Let's go into what's actually on the camera and why it's on the camera. A recent purchase of mine was this Tilta camera cage. I forget the exact package that I got, but basically it came with a top plate, a side plate. I also opted for the V-mount adapter that goes onto the back so you could uh, accept V-mount batteries. I love this, but I haven't invested it into V-mount batteries, so I haven't used it. And we're gonna talk about what I use for batteries in a second, because it kind of plays into the philosophy a little bit. The other nice things that this has is a quick release system at the bottom and a rail system that attaches through. This rail system has some rosette mounts, which are cool. I've seen people mount like big handles on here. I wanted rods. I really wanted rods on the camera so that I could put a follow focus system because I got these nice Nikon lenses that are manual focus only. So I wanted some rods and I bought the Tilta follow focus Focus micro or nano or whatever it's called. And it's awesome. The problem is when I'm holding this handheld and I'm holding this thing, I can't hold the actual follow focus thing. So what I like about this, and I'm still happy that I have it, is for one, it adds a little weight to the camera, which is nice. Also, I can hold these rods and manually focus like this. I like the idea of having to follow focus and it's easier to use, it's easier to pull focus, but this is just so compact and I could get a really nice handheld stable position with that. Uh, the side cage here, it has mounting options for a wireless transmission system. So if you need to throw one of those on there, you're already ready to go. When I originally purchased this camera, uh, I bought these BPU batteries for it. I went with this and they're probably about the same price. I think this was like $300 for two of these and a charger. They've held up really well. Uh, Shape makes some really good products and they're a Canadian company. So I highly recommend these. They actually have DTAP and USB built into the BPU battery. They last so long. Yeah, so when I plug this in, this battery's not fully charged and it's still giving me 195 minutes of runtime. It's like 250, 260 minutes when you have it fully charged. So these batteries are awesome and they don't stick out much. Monitors, I have a couple different options. My favorite option is this uh, five inch Shinobi. I do have a seven inch monitor from Port Keys, which I love. And I, I probably use that actually the most on this camera, but lately I've been rocking this five inch when I need it. The problem with this five inch is it's HDMI only and I prefer using SDI if I can. When I do rock a monitor, I just put it on the top handle. Here's the, the, the biggest thing and the biggest surprise to most people listening to this video. I love the FX6 monitor. I think it is beautiful and brilliant. It has a nice little uh, hood here, so it covers the monitor. It's a touch screen. The quality is not bad. It's not the, the best screen in the entire world, to be honest, but it's not terrible. And then my, my favorite thing is I have this, I think it comes set up, yeah, focus magnification is right here on my hand grip. So I hit that and then I, I it zooms in three times for me. I could rack my focus really easily and then hit it again for six times just to make sure it's all intact, sharp focus. I keep peeking on this. And honestly, like I just preferred using this camera with one monitor. So the top handle, I usually rock, well, I only have the Sony one, so I rock the Sony one. Obviously the problem with using a different top handle on the FX6 is that we lose our audio options. And even when you're running gunning, like it's nice to have scratch audio. So what I do is I use this terribly designed mic holder and I put my, Rode NTG5 mic in there with a little short XLR cable. I'm sticking with this top handle. It is comfortable. It does have buttons on it. It's just a little like ugly kind of dad with a cam quarter vibes. And the last thing that I wanna talk about is memory. So memory is important. Uh, what I rock in this, and it's not even in this because it's recording me right now, is the CF Express Type A from Sony. I think I have the 180 gigabyte card that lasts me for quite a while. It's super fast. I, I, I absolutely love it. It's way too expensive. Angel Bird just came out with a terabyte version for like around $500. There'll be numbers on the screen, but I would recommend that one if you can. The other option that I have is some Prograde V90 cards. I think they're like 120 something gigabytes. Those are the original cards. I purchased for uh, my A7R3 and then the A7S3, blah, blah, blah. They work, they work on this. I don't, you can't record like 120 frames per second in the highest bit rate. So I would recommend the CF Express Type A if you can afford it. Peace.